Tonight we're learning more about families mourning the loss of their pets killed in a fire over the weekend in Georgetown. 75 dogs died, each one a beloved family member. And today, the Ponderosa Pet Resort began returning remains to owners in Georgetown. Some families are finding comfort in sharing stories about their pets. As KVU's Tori Larned reports, their search for closure is not over. Six months. That's all the time Georgia Kuros and her puppy Goose had together. I instantly fell in love with him with the blue eyes of his. Kiro says she sent her seven month old pup to Ponderosa Pet Resort for training. But on Sunday, she got the devastating news. Goose wasn't coming home. But even in their short time together, Kiro says Goose was her rock when tragedy struck her life. There was times where like I didn't want to get out of bed or I didn't want to go outside because how like traumatic the past event was and um, Goose just kind of made me do those things. You know, I had to take care of him. I had to take him on walk. Now she's processing the pain once again, this time without Goose. And so are the families of the 74 other pets that died who all want answers. From the start, I felt like Ponderosa was a good facility. You know, I trusted them. The Georgetown Fire Department deemed the fire an accident, but their department, along with the fire marshal and an independent third party agency hired by Ponderosa, are trying to figure out what exactly happened. We need to go through a process of identifying clearly what caused uh, this fire so we can better learn from this and help prevent a future tragedy from occurring. Georgetown Fire Chief John Sullivan says the building met national, state and local fire codes, but that doesn't make this OK. We're looking at ways that we can try to encourage change, not only here locally, but across the country. And so we will be reviewing some amendments with our council later this fall. Heroes agrees, but for now, she just wants to reunite with Goose for one last goodbye. In Austin, I'm Tori Larned.